My name is Maximilian Feichner. I'm a PhD student here at the Rachel Carson Center in Munich. I have a background in global studies, political sciences and Spanish, and now I'm on the way to become a global and environmental historian. So when I was doing my undergrads, I had the chance to do field work in Ecuador in the highlands, a little bit south of Quito. And I lived there with an indigenous Quito community and it was really interesting to me because most of the men I found were actually migrating to the Amazon region and work for the big oil companies. And I got really hooked on the questions, why would they go there and what were they actually doing in the rainforest? You should care about my project because it's important to know where our fossil fuels are coming from. In the last years we've been discussing climate change and it's a lot about where the fossil fuels end, ends and where they're burned, but not so much who are the people that produce them and what it does to the environments where the fossil fuels are produced. And that's what I'm going to do with my project. Look at the interaction between human and environment in Ecuador, in the rainforest, where the oil is coming from that you might just burn at the moment. That's easy. It's petroleum, plants and power. What I hate most about my project is that it makes my own privileges very evident as a Western researcher. I go to a field where many people are heavily affected by environmental pollution and they actually don't have a chance to get away, go somewhere else, and I have the means um, to just leave whenever I want and it's very hard to come to terms with that. My fondest memories are related to the interviews I did with oil workers. In the beginning it was really hard to gain their trust, especially as a foreign researcher. But in the end, many opened up, they invited me to share meals with their family and they told me a lot of very interesting stories about their life. Overall, these conversations showed me how rich but also how contradicting their experiences were. And this is very valuable to my research.